everybody and today I'm back and today what I'm gonna show you is my game against Bortnik which I recently played in Title Tuesday and let's go uh, so I started off with Knight of 3 and he played a6 he started the tournament 6 out of 6 and I think he lost 3 games in a row so he was on tilt and he started a6 uh, I didn't want to play like e4 uh, because then b5 and I wasn't sure so I replied with a4 uh, computer screams that it's an inaccuracy, but it was a fine move. He played b6, I played g3, bishop b7, bishop g2, we both fan catered our bishops. e5, uh, that computer says that is a mistake. He just had to go like knight of 6, e6, and then c5. Then d3 was a good move, but computer just says after castles, uh, I get a better position because d6, d4, knight d7. And then something like c4, knight c3, I get more space. That is basically computer stuff, because computer really likes position with more space. So computer says m plus 1, but it's not really much better for me. It is slightly more comfortable because of more space, but okay. I played d3. I wanted to play this game pretty safe. Didn't want to give him any huge, uh, crazy play. Uh, huge attacking chances. He played knight of 6, I played castle. Uh, d6. Now he had to protect the pawn because otherwise, if he does something now, I take and then bishop g2, king g2, I'm just a pawn up. And I couldn't take the pawn before because then my bishop would just fall. So he played d6, played c4, uh, g6, knight c3. Computer says that it was an interesting idea for me, a5. And now that after he goes like bishop g7, takes, takes, like bishop g5, castles, knight c3. And then knight g d7, go knight d2. And then the idea is that I have much better light squares. He has two weak pawns and I'm better. But I play knight c3. He played bishop g7. Again, computer says I had to go for a5. But I played queen c2. I was peacefully developing. He played knight c6. Now, knight c6 is a good move preventing uh, a5 and b4 because the knight has the squares protected. I played bishop g5, he played h6, I traded the bishops, and now I played queen c1. Uh, I know it can look quite weird, what is the point of returning your queen, right? But my idea was that now he cannot castle, because if he castles I take queen h6, right? And I'm just a whole pawn up. So he played bishop g7, maybe a better move would actually be a5, just put in this a5 pawn is a huge, huge block because now I cannot play a5 at all and I cannot play b4 at all, right? Uh, because, and pretty much then he would be slightly better. He would get some f5 play and yeah, maybe he would go on to win. But he played bishop g7, I played knight d2, um, which was another mistake. Better move was knight h4. And now the idea is after a5, I get f4. And e takes f, I get queen f4, and I have quite a scary attack, like castles, bishop d5 would be slightly better. Because after knight d2, if he would go, ah, uh, hold on, knight d4, yeah, if he would go a5, then f4 makes no sense, he just takes, and then he just castles, and it's much better. I, I have nothing, because otherwise, my in the other variation, my queen would be on f4, and then I would have some active play, and my knight would be on h4. Knight g6 threats in the air. And here he would be better. So he should have went a5, then e3, castles, and then and then pretty much he would be slightly better. I get b4, but he gets a nice block, and, and yeah. This knight e6, or rook bb8, he's slightly better. But in the game he played castles, which was an accuracy, and now we got b4. Uh, yeah, now we got more space. Um, so let's see, I have three pawns on the fourth rank, and he has only one pawn on the fourth rank. I have much more space. He played queen c8, I played rook b1. My idea is just to get like b5 stuff, right? He played a5, I played knight d5. The idea of knight d5 is say he plays like rook b8. Um, huh, funnily enough, uh, I don't get the idea I wanted because I saw b5, this, this, this. I win a queen, but fun fact, is that he wins my queen back. I'm still slightly better, but okay. But yeah, the idea of knight d5 was b5, but now I realize that he gets knight d4 with knight d2 and he's fine. He played rook f7 though, 
at late night bc now i prevent this 94 and also my idea is a5 he plays skinny shade which was any inaccuracy. Again, Stockfish says he had to go for a5, and then knight e7, and all the breakthrough I was trying to achieve for the whole game is worthless now. He he just blocks everything, right? And all my pawns, all my pawns can go anywhere because his pawns block them. And he can get some play, even though I'm not worse, he still would be very fine here. He played Kinichi though, and I play a5, Finally, not playing a5 and not allowing team to play a5. And he played in the game b takes a, which was a mistake. A uh, big, big mistake. He had to go for knight e7. And then knight d2, knight d5. Just take. Even though I have this pawn on a5, it is not too good for me. Sure, I'm slightly better here. But, okay, that's a blunder from him. f4 is a big mistake. But rook c7, king g2, f4 rook bc3, fg, fg, we see more or less, or ag, with more or less equality. But he played b takes a, now he took knight a5, he took knight a5, i2 b takes a, rook a7, and now I play c5. So, my idea with c5 is to play, oops, c6, and just to make him play bishop a8, right? Bishop a8, and his bishop on a8 would be terrible. I would just play like queen c2, rook c1, or even queen e3, for example, let's say he goes h5, I get c6, bishop a8, I can go something like here, then rook c1, right? And I would be much better. Or I can just get queen e3, we did his rook completely, and I would be completely winning. So, after c5, he played queen e8, which was another mistake. He had to go for queen to e8, preventing c6. I still would be much better after this variation because of his terrible rook and yeah I would be much better but it's still I, at least I wouldn't be up on material it's still much worse for him but playable position he played queen 8 and you may ask well how doesn't this stop c6 right because c6 is simply takes and then why is that good for you that actually happened in the game I played c6 and now, after bishop c6, I offer you guys to pause the video and find the best move for white. Alright guys, I hope you have found the move. And the best move in this position for white is knight b6. So you sacrifice a knight. Now the idea is if he moves the queen, you just take his bishop. And if he takes your, if he takes my knight, then I take his bishop with my bishop, and then a takes b. And look at that, he's forced to go rook e7, and look at this, his pawns are terrible, and look at my pawn on b6, it's such a beast, it is so so good. Uh, so I played queen c4, I wanted to just take the a6 pawn, he played e4, I was like, well, uh, okay, if I take, he gets some e3 or ed stuff, like e3, sure I'm winning. But what is the problem with d takes e, right? Because the idea is if he takes, I just take bishop e4. And still this hangs and this hangs. And I'm completely winning. So he decided to go f4. Now I'm like, okay, let me just take a6. Because if f takes g, I think f takes g or h takes g both work. h takes g, he has no attack, I'm completely winning. So he played rook f8. I played bishop to d5. He played bishop d4, now I took g takes f. Uh, you may think, well, isn't that a mistake? Because g takes f, you open up the g file, right, from g5. You open up the g file for you, uh, where your king is on. Yeah, sure, but uh, if you take the pawn back, then I get e3, king h1, and then I just get b7. His queen is pin, uh, stuck on b8 forever. I get like queen 8 and I'm completely winning. So instead of taking rook f4, he played king h7. Then he just played e3 for taking this pawn. Now I'm three pawns up. Bishop c5. I decided, you know, to be safe. I played king h1. Maybe I'd better move b7, but king h1 is a great move as well. He played queen e8. Now I played rook g1. I just decided to be as safe as humanly possible because I was a little bit scared of g5, but now g5 he played it anyways. I played b7. The idea is if he takes g takes f, I get b8, and queen b8, rook b8, it's game over. I mean, I'm a queen up, it's game over. So he played queen h5, pretty much the only try. I played e5, 
I really love this move as well. My idea is that if he takes, then I just promote simply. And sure, maybe uh, I had b8, I think, but apparently I don't because it makes my life much harder. He takes b8. Funnily enough, after queen d3, I'm winning, but taking the rook is a huge blunder because after rook b8, he has queen d1 and I don't have, and he has perpetual and the draw. So I didn't want to draw, I played e5. That was also the idea to protect the f3 square um, with my bishop. Then he played rook b8. I just took the fourth pawn and then he played g takes f, which computer says was a blunder, but I don't really think he was because, I mean, I'm completely winning. If he does something, I just get queen c6. I'm four pawns up. I have two super strong pawns. I'm completely winning. And in the game, he played g takes f. I gave a check. King h8, d takes e, f3. And he was like, well, that looks scary, right? But to uh, for him to make that work, he needs to get like bishop d6, bishop h2, right? Uh, and I'm like, oh well, then, sure, maybe at force mate, queen c3, queen g7. But I decided to end the game with in some fancy style, bishop to g8. And my idea is queen h7 mate, right? Because my bishop and queen control c7. And the idea is if he takes, I just take, take b8 and like king of seven, e8. I mean, I have three queens, I should win that pretty easily. So after bishop g8, his time ran out. And that's how I won against Bortnik. I think it was a super exciting game. Uh, sure, maybe in the open and I could have got this a5 and get a better position, but I decided to be safe. And then I like this knight d2 before idea. And then rook b1. And then what, what was super brilliant is this takes and then c5, c6 with the idea of knight b6 and then I was completely winning. So. Yeah, that's the game. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had really I had a lot of fun analyzing it and playing it as well. So I hope you guys love this video as well. And yeah, everybody, I'm I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care, everybody, and bye bye.